Alright everyone, welcome to my latest video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, make a website with free .tk in me. And let's have a look on what website we are going to make. make. This is my site. It's very simple and I like it. As you can see, it's a boring site. I like it. And I will show you how to install this team, how to host it on the free web hosting site, and how to get this dot domain or authors if you want. So let's get started by going to the domain site. Which is freenom.com and type your well, wanted domain here. For example, I will use this. And as you can see, dot tk is already taken, that's why I'm going to change it to this site. One, two, three, four. And click on get it now. Check out. And here you can choose up to 12 months for free after this is paid. Mm, and every 12 months you have to renew it. Uh, choose whatever months you want. Click on use DNS. Then click on use your own DNS. And for this part we have to go to the hosting site. which is 00 web host and click on order now button here just type www dot this free site one two three four dot tk type your username your email your password and just to make a new account, I will just use mine because I already made it. Create new, copy this here, and type a password. Back to account list, go to cPanel, and you can see your domain is not yet pointing to their services. That's why we now just fix, fix this. Just copy this and paste it right there. Continue. Uh, click on I have read terms of condition and agree and complete your offer and you are basically done with freenum.com site. Now you will need this FTP 
details to access your uh, your site throughout files you or or other FTP clients. I will use file zero. Click on this link and just download it. I already did it. That's why I am going to install it. Agree. Next. 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 Install. And run. And here type this or username type this and for password you made it on. where it says port leave it empty. And if you get this kind of error, this is because this DNS we change it on the this freedom site. How to uh, it ta it takes up to three days to internet providers update their DNS registers for your site. That's why instead of .dk we are going to use the IP of the site which is here press copy this paste it here and again click quick, quick connect go to your public HTML and delete these files yes and now for this part just download wordpress dot download wordpress from wordpress dot org download by the way our links will be in the description below click on this download button I already did it as you can see. That's why I just uh, unarrow it. Call this, go to the WordPress folder and find the file that with the name wp config sample.php and edit it open it click on our path now and then just look for this row this is very important, you have to do it right for username here you have to make a MySQL database And for password, and create database. Now, there it is host database. This is the name of the database. Just copy and paste. The user name is, it, uh, is the same, that's why I'm doing this. Type your password here and localhost. 
this is first. Yes, and we are done with this part. Now save it as .php file. And for some reason, I am not able to do it with word part. That's why. I will use. Not bad. Open it. This is the same. Make sure this is not changed. And save us. And type as name wp dash config dot php and change save type as all files that way it will save it as php false there it is now you can delete this txt file and copy all this and paste it into your ftp directory of your site public html remember and this can take up to 15 minutes to complete it. Of course, I will depend. And after upload is complete, you should be able to access your site throughout the web. And for some reason, if it doesn't load right after you upload the files just wait uh, two or three hours or more if it needed and then come back and check your site it should load just like this with the wordpress installation screen and just click continue site title name it whatever you like your user name and type your password type your email address and just click install WordPress and after this success just walk into your site and you should see your dashboard and let's have a look how our site looks like It's a simple hello world post and the default or pressing for this year. If you want, you can change it to mine like this. I will post a link where you can download it and install it for your site. Let's do it right now. Go to appearance, teams and click on add new. Click on upload team and choose file. Here select the team you download and click install now 
activate and now the site should look just like mine of course it's a little bit different just set up your menu here the background maybe you want to change it's easy the wall here slider is there it is and everything is the same well hope you like it and enjoy this tutorial watch more videos subscribe for more